in this video today we will see how to update the privacy settings in our whatsapp application now from time to time whatsapp may release a new privacy settings for the whatsapp application so today we will see the current privacy settings for whatsapp application so i will go ahead and open whatsapp application then i will tap on this three dotted icons settings i will go to accounts and then select privacy so there are different options here for the privacy settings on the top i have who can see my personal info then i have the option last seen now here you are able to set the people who can see when you were active last time in whatsapp application for example if you select everyone then everyone can see when you were active on whatsapp for the last time also we have the option here my contact that means only the contact which are there in your whatsapp will be able to see when you were active last time then there is an option nobody that means no one will be able to see when you were active last time so if you select your nobody even the contacts which are saved in your whatsapp application for those contacts also you won't be able to see when they were active last time now let's go to the another one profile photo here also you have the options to select everyone my contact or nobody you can allow either everyone to see the profile picture or only the contact that are saved in your whatsapp or no one similarly if i go about so here also you will be able to select who can see your personal info in whatsapp application either everyone my contact or nobody now there is another option status you can allow either everyone to see your whatsapp status by selecting my contact or you can select my contacts accept and you can select any one of the person or two or three of the persons to whom you don't want to allow to see your whatsapp status there is another option only share with here you can select only a particular person or particular persons to whom you want to show the whatsapp status so select whatever options you want and then after that done now we have the option here read receipts so this read receipt option is only useful if you are a member of a group so suppose if you are a member of a group and if someone sends a message and if you read it then the other people in the group will be able to know that you have read the messages and when you read the message there will be a double blue tick but if you disable this option then other people won't be able to know whether you have read or not then there is another option here groups here you can set who can add you to the group suppose if someone creates a group and want to add you then you can either allow everyone who creates a group to add you in the group or else you can only select the contacts which are present in your whatsapp to create a group and add you or else you can select my contact and you can select those contact who cannot add you to the group you can restrict any person from this contact to add you in the group so after you do these settings select done then we have your option live location so with this live location you will be able to send your live location in whatsapp to any contact then we have the option here blocked contact here you can add any contact to whom you want to block for example i will tap on this option here and i can select any contact to whom i want to block in whatsapp and suppose if I, you want to unblock anyone just tap on the contact and select unblock so with this blocked contacts you are able to either block someone in whatsapp or unblock them then the last option is fingerprint lock so with this option you are able to lock the whatsapp application with the fingerprint so for that one you should have already fingerprint id saved in your android device so that whatsapp application can use them so if you have already set the fingerprint id then what you do is enable this option unlock with finger and then after that what you have to do you have to use the fingerprint so after i have scanned my fingerprint then i have the option here automatically lock immediately 
after you don't use it or after one minute so if you select after one minute that means until you don't use the whatsapp for one minute it will open but after that it will be locked or else after 30 minutes and then there is another option show content in notifications so if you enable these options you will be able to see the preview of the whatsapp messages in the notification bar if you don't want and if you want to maintain privacy you can disable this option so these are the privacy settings that you can do in whatsapp application right now thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free